Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Excel tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to apply the sum if function across multiple worksheets. So if you've ever had to apply maybe a formula or a function across multiple worksheets, you know it can be a real pain that you have to individually select each worksheet. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a trick that I learned how to sum easily across multiple worksheets with the sum if function. So here I have an Excel file, and on this Excel file, I have the summary worksheet, and which is going to be the worksheet that I'm going to use to aggregate all the worksheets uh, across uh, from all these five different tabs. So central, east, north, and south, and west. And for those worksheets, which are going to be my data tables, and each table has uh, the same column, so fruits, quantity, price per union, and sales amount. And within each worksheet, uh, so I have different fruits, apple, avocado, pineapple, and peach. The only difference is that for each worksheet, the, the order of the fruits are different. So from sales, I have apple, pineapple, peach, and avocado. And for north, I have apple, pineapple, avocado, and peach. So usually, uh, if your items for each source data table are uniform, then it can be easy uh, solution. So you can just use the sum function and apply the, the worksheet uh, reference. So from central to west, and followed by the, the cell reference address. But unfortunately, in this case, we know that the order of the, the fruits are all different across different tabs. And if we try to apply the sum function across multiple worksheets, and we're going to get the inquiry result. So in column D, these are the numbers uh, returns from applying the, the sum function. In column E is the is the expect result. So my expect result for Apple should be 177 and 617. And for Pineapple, it should be 73,989, which is a little bit different from the numbers in column D. So here I'm going to show you how to uh, use the sum if function across multiple sheets like you use in the sum function. So before we begin, I just want to point out that the format is not a straightforward just because how the engine works. So first, I'm going to insert my sum if function. Next, I'm going to insert the indirect function. If you have never used indirect function before, the indirect function returns a reference to a range by a text string. And references are immediately evaluated to display their contents. So here I want to grab the the, the data from the central tab, east tab, north, south, and west tabs. So to do that, so let's first of all insert the, the single quotation. So we're going to be basically mimicking the cell address. And here, uh, so after you insert the single quotation, you want to insert the, the ampersand symbol. So here we want to insert open curly bracket. And inside the curly bracket, we want to type all the worksheet name that we want to sum across. So I want to sum the central worksheet, east worksheet, north, uh, south, and the west worksheet. And followed by close curly bracket, and ampersand symbol, double quotation, and single quotation. So that means this is going to be the, the text for all the worksheets. And I want to insert the, the cell reference address. So we want to insert uh, the explanation symbol and followed by the, the cell reference. So it's going to be A2 to uh, A5. So I know my source data table cell reference already. And just make sure that your cell reference is locked by inserting the dollar symbols. Double quotation and close parenthesis and comma. My second parameter is the criteria, so it's going to be A2. And for the sum range, so my sum range is going to be from uh, D2 to D5 across each data worksheet. So here I can just copy uh, the cell reference from the indirect function. 
Now I'm going to insert another indirect function. I'm going to paste the cell reference and close parenthesis and close parenthesis again. Except that this time I need to change my my sum cell reference. So I need to change that from A2 to D2 to D5. Now if you simply just enter the formula, Excel is going to give you this uh, spill uh, error message. And if, if we hover the error message, so it just tells you that a cell we need to spill data into isn't blank. So what we need to do is we need to wrap this formula with the sum product function and enter. And now that gives you the correct result. And we get the same result as the results in column E. Now assuming instead of five worksheets, now you have like a hundred or five hundred worksheets. Now assuming if you have to apply some if function across maybe uh, 10 or 50 or even 100 worksheets. And what I usually like to do is I like to create a reference uh, sheet tab. In this reference sheet tab, I will uh, input the, the worksheet name that I need to uh, I need to sum across. So right now I only have five worksheets. So central, east, north, south, and west. But if you have like 100 or 200, you may need to merely just you know, type the, the worksheet names first, or you can use a macro to uh, populate the worksheet name for you, and that will also save you a lot of time. But now let's go back to the summary uh, tab. And now let me grab this uh, formula right here. Let me, and let me just paste over to cell C2. And assume that uh, you don't want to uh, merely type the worksheet name. So what we can do is, we can, so here let me remove the, this, uh, this, uh, strings right here. And we'll, instead of, uh, typing the worksheet name individually, so I can actually reference the, the, uh, the cell reference for my reference sheets. So I can, so here I'm just going to merely highlight the, the cell reference from B3 to B7 and plus F4 to lock the cell reference. And I'm going to copy this cell reference right here. And I'm going to replace that with this. Uh, so I'm going to replace the this text this uh, text string with the cell reference. And enter. And that also gives you the same result. So this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. You can download this Excel template as well as the finalized Excel file from the link in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.